Hello, this is a custom 3 vs 3 for the blue team Sargo 13 with a Lictor Alpha, Tyranids of course, uh, in the middle Bucks with a Mac Boy, an Orc Mac Boy, and at the top of the map Ever Faithful Leobolt with a Plague Champion. Nice color scheme by the way. Uh, on the red side me, I underwent with another Plague Champion, the middle FC Boy with his Trusted Force Commander, Ultramarines of course, and Pauli with um, an Elder Warlock, Offensive Commander for Elder. The Victor infiltrates immediately in order to approach the contested vic uh, contested um, power node actually. Contested victory point at the top of the map. And he's not going to use the f his flash hook because it would be a waste on a tanky commander or rather tanky commander. Uh, <laughs> exactly as soon after I said this he uses his the flash hook to um, bring the warlock uh, under the, um, the fire of his termagants actually only one unit FC by warns of two players at the top I am aware of this and he's finish off, finishing off this Lagas probably forgot by box I think they are going to go down mid in retreat by tactical marines yes they do uh, Warlock is forced off and Bench is in the middle of fight. They are going to go down, I think. Yes, they do. For um, Eldar, it's very hard to fight Tyranids, to be honest. Tyranids are the worst matchup for Eldar. I would say Lictor is not the best commander for this, but still enough and he's going to decap this natural power node I'm still shooting a little bit of the top of the map FC boy managed to capture the entire middle lane of the map and he's um, continuing his pressure against box pretty good pressure here and now he's in helping me at the top of the map with a portion of his army we have um, a banner at the top built by um, Bax Macboy Macboy is the only unit which can build uh, WAB banners Shuriken cannon for Pauli and default, no, with sniper rifle Scouts for um, FC Boy. I go double heretics, double CSM against another Chaos player usually. This is the ability of the WA banner, which I think is called Frazzle or something like this, which stuns and knockback nearby units. Pretty good one, and also buffs the um, the damage of nearby orcs. From you can s you can see this from these yellow circle circles. Uh, at the bottom of the um, orc's feet. Like where it goes down, I think, already two times. And has his um, Daka Def gun. Uh, the um, ever play opposing play champion is also down, so it's up to um, Lictor Alpha to revive them. And we have. Um, fully powered up or rather gen up um, contested power not by um, conquered captured by Sargo and powered up by um, Bux which rebuilt his um, rebuilt his sluggers I don't think these sluggers can beat uh, tactical marines with half of their health and in fact they have to flee the power income is almost even, I would say uh, double grenade launchers for my heretics and my plague champion is flash hooked by um, the Lictor Alpha and taken down I tried to use the warship to um, save him but was clearly too late three players at the top of the map uh, the Lictor Alpha of course came in to revive his allies
Mert apparently... Ah, oh, he did. I think he revived the Plague Champion too. I don't know, because the Plague Champion came from base, but just with half of his half. Now Box saying they are fine at the top of the map to um, other way in other words is telling the Lictrafa to go back at his place at his lane and stop the elder the advance of this elder which has rangers ranger and yeah just one unit of rangers and he re repurchased the his unit of um, benches howling benches which is a brave choice against a Tyranid which is already going tier 2 uh, Leo Bolt is uh, going tier 2 as well with Havox and none of the red team players except me is going tier 2 just now we lost the entire farm at the north, uh, the top of the map hmm? but we captured the contested one and rebuilt at the bottom the orca box is approaching uh, the mother on the map confronting the elder which has also the merciless witchblade for his warlock he's really investing in tier 1 stuff and units is going to be pretty at the back in terms of tech um, development I've seen Leo here and this is why I usually go for grenade launchers against another chaos they are very good to get to give you the upper hand in a firefight. Of course, uh, grena grenades don't care about your cover, like a sniper rifle, and also they can dislodge you from the uh, the cover. FC boy reviving my big champion. With a bit of the bash at the top of the map, and. Two thirds of the maps are red at the moment. Um, kinetic pulse, uh, or rather kinetic shot, from the rangers to save his warlock. Good play from Pauli. And we have um, the um, crippling poison ability to snare these benches two times, uh, and they are now they have to retreat. Otherwise, they are going to go down. So pretty good ability in this snare one the sorry the crippling poison um, reapers worn uh, casted by the um, lictor alpha global ability one of the lictor alpha global 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 abilities sorry and triple um, victory point for the red team you see a blood crusher from leo or Leo, I don't know. And I'm going to for blood letters here. FC boy is straight into tier three or not? He cancelled it right now. The elder managed to reach tier two. Nicely done. Revenant brood for Sargo. Of course, you can allow yourself to go. Um, um, a little bit later in tier 2 versus Tyranid since Tyranids do not have a um, vehicle unit in tier 2 so um, any of their tier 2 units is vulnerable to uh, tier 1 um, weapons of course the Tyrant Guard is um, super unit is called and takes less damage by piercing weapons but still going to take damage while vehicles take only a little fraction of the damage from piercing weapons I think 10% which is negligible 
For example, this blood crusher takes almost no damage from piercing weapons, despite it being a um, soft uh, vehicle, still a vehicle. And this shuriken cannon is going to go down because it's going to be eaten alive by these ormaguns, I would say. Yeah. Static marines barely escaping. Lucky to go around with two models. And this warlock is safe, I would say, yeah. Managed to run away. We see a Venom Brood from Sargo, which buffs um, the um, range damage of non synapse creatures. Only the Raveners and one squad of Termagants left to, to receive this buff. And we see an inversion of the map control here. Now two thirds of the map are blue. And we have a s we see a weird boy from Box. Very good unit, but a little bit hard to use. I have Plague Marines as well. I don't know why I went for Plague Marines. Oh, probably to s to yeah to snare this Blood Crusher, of course. And a predator tank from FC Boy. We have um, an icon of Narglon Leo, League Champion, and Marco Zinch on both his CSMs. Minor defaults. Defaults, yes, yes. Um, Hard to use blood letters against another play champion, of course. Maybe an unwise choice by me. Um, trying to help FC Boy to repair his predator tank. And the, the elder having a really rough time at the bottom against um, this swarm of tyrannids. See a uh, corrosive close on the Lictor Alpha. And as you may expect from the name, they mm, increases the damage taken by unit stuck or hit by this weapon. You would see it from um, would notice it by a yellow circle on the bottom of, the, of their feet, and we see double revenants or triple even from Sargo. Web Brigade in um, police base. Which is connected to nothing at the moment. Force commander in danger. As my CSM here. You see terminators? Yeah. Terminators from FC Boy assault terminators to stop this Marco Zinch. I'm shooting on the on his predator, and they take down the havoc with Marco Zinch. Now the predator is engaged by the blood crusher. I use the uh, teleport of my blood letters to reach this retreating CSM, which managed to escape. And now I use my plague mines to aid this predator tank for as much as I can, of course, and I take down the Blood Crusher. Another Warlock down at the bottom. The other units are still in level, at level 1. None of them leveled up. Sargo lost his Ormagans, but he clearly at the advantage, have the advantage at the bottom. Isolated Assault Terminators, they have to run before they get stunned by the Plague Champion. Otherwise they are just a sitting duck. And they still taking damage from the Icon of Nargo. Uh, good um, management of this 
predator tank by um, FC boy. He managed to save him with a little fraction of his health. Really good one. Now I'm repairing it. Um, commanders which can repair repair faster than repairing units, regular repairing units. So I'm going to repair it very fast with my plague champion. Now I'm flanked at the po top of the map by Sargo with his Tyranids. Leveners do retain a decent uh, melee damage even after they get the upgrade for their um, Devourer. Devourer, uh, their, um, the name of their range weapon. Now you will see the Terminators with the red circle. They take increased that only the model hit by the weapon takes increased damage. Thankfully it's not the entire squad. They still have to retreat. And I'm trying to catch this weird boy with my blood letters here. Which is really hard to do. Now we are in peril in terms of victory point. Bugs almost uh, used his mm, Rambler on my back. Better tank level 2 and we see knobs coming out from box. Ranger, another ranger squad by Pauli and he's getting another one, three rangers for some reason, three late ranger. He's even in tier 3. I don't know why, but probably he's happy with this. Um, I played my CSMR level 2, level 3. Managed to keep my army alive. Lost one heretics squad and FC boy went for um, force commander. Uh, sorry, Terminator armor for his force commander. Um, probably to use it in conjunction with flamer to burn the mass tyrannies and mass um, orcs. I went for eternal war on my CSM. I want to be able to outshoot this uh, opposing Kill Space Marines. I approached too close to um, opposing heretics, which get the um, touch of Nargal uh, global ability, and they are now fearsome unit for my, for any of my units actually, since I don't have any vehicles around. Rumble, yeah, by. Um, box default knobs here on the field and the Zotark barely escapes maybe or not not it doesn't or rather she doesn't I think it's a female and uh, knobs are seeing pretty good fight against the default terminators assault terminators even with their hammers and shields, they can fight back knobs for a certain degree. Termagans on capping duty. Of course, the Weirbo is really good against Terminators. I cast my Imperial Abyss here. For this reason, the Weirbo is really good since they can he can stun lock them in place. See the Flamer for his Force Commander. Now the Terminators have to navigate around my Imperial Abyss, unfortunately. Good range blob um, by Sargo. Managed to, to, to build up this blob with three Raveners. In his tier 3, he's able, he would be able to um, buy a Carnifex here. Don't know what he's waiting for, probably for this Wormlord, but in my opinion, the Carnifex is more than enough uh, for him. Would be, would have a pretty good synergy with a Venom Cannon in this case. Yes, would be vulnerable to Terminators, but I don't know if FC Boy would be so eager to send Terminators around Carnifex supported by his worm. 
Yeah, four ranges by uh, Paul. <laughs> Sargo is a complaining a little bit. Uh, four is clearly this is spam because four rangers are uh, spam for sure. But I don't know how effective it can be. Uh, I have a default predator here at the top. Touch on Argon on my blood letters. Almost taking down this CSM. I actually never seen a uh, see fifth the fifth ranger is getting out of their base. I don't know which is the purpose of buying this spam. Knobs are forced off. Barely alive. You see default um, tactical marines level three by FC boy. Deadly jump for this Victor, and really I don't see the point of this spam. Of course, rangers can detect uh, lictors, which can infiltrate, but in tier three, uh, it's questionable choice, to say the least. Big champion level 4, warlock level 2, lictor level 6, mech boy level 2, and opposing play champion level 4. More assault terminators by by FC boy. Bax um, is encouraging his team to push once more in order to gain the victory. Uh, FC boy recaptured the middle of the map. Level well, three predator now, and we see the ranger spam here. How fares against Tyranid? But supported by assault terminators can work, I, I suppose. But still, it's a little bit uh, ridiculous. I mean, you can do it; nothing wrong with it. But it's funny to see it in tier three. Maybe it would be good to use Lightning Claw on his first commander against all this all this power armor. Uh, ask, Sargo asking for a number of rangers on the field. So now are starting to pile off their damage on CSMs. They actually are effective against CSM, but in any tier, still. And we see a Rambler in the middle of the map hmm, to take down this vehicle since Rambler stuns lock any unit of the game, either vehicle, commander, infantry, whichever unit it is. And also, uh, it's going to do um, ability knockback like a plasma cannon, so you are going to um, stay uh, stuck even if you retreat. You cannot move away from the rumble. I'm pushed. And we see a Venom Cannon current effects by Sargo. Which is the thing I was waiting. Actually, I was praising. And six rangers, five rangers, I don't know. They're doing something in tier 3. Apparently. There are four rangers here. And probably something somewhere else around the map or maybe just four we have a rocks here casted by bucks of course on s mostly space marines and retreating elder stuff I was at the side of this global and um, Eldrick Storm on retreating orcs exchange of favors between these two players Carnifex probably pushing top but he's facing my blood letters and my tank. The three blood letters doing good job against um, ranged carnifex. And his assault terminators are dead. I would say stun locked by the president strike and even dealt with the um, icon of Nargo. Really good job by Leo Leon Splake Champion. Forcing off two squad of assault terminators. Nicely done, level 5 now, but can fight a fire prism of course. 
You see the, the Rangers coming out, doing nothing to um, play champion, of course. Our three team play champion. Yeah, four Rangers here. Uh, Box asking his teammates to go top, which is guarded by me now. Two level four CSM. Good luck. But he has a knob because he's still level one. I think uh, double level four CSM can fight a um, level one knob squad in melee for a certain amount of time. Not forever, but enough to receive reinforcements. And I'm supported by a fire prism, one of the most, the worst nightmare for knobs. Since they are constantly knocked down. And we have just 11 victory points left, but the knobs are dead. And Bucks lost almost everything from his army. 22-11 and I'm trying to kill this mech by here nope he escapes 8 ranges makes you win uh, <laughs> and apparently the ranger spam worked somehow another predator tank by FC boy not in time and this is the game it's pretty good one unexpected victory 11 points left for us let's see the first the commanders mine level 5 of course the terminator command does not level up uh, warlock level 3 uh, and just rangers then uh, leo leo play champions level 5 nicely done like mine uh, Box Macboy just level 3 and Sargos Lictor Alpha almost level 7 Nicely, nice usage by the, of the Lictor Alpha by him and yes this is the game thanks for watching bye